Hey, hey, everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to make a letter portrait like this with Canva and a helper app for free. Now, stick with me till the end, and I'm going to show you a couple of extra tips that you can really use to enhance this graphic. Let's go. Here we are in Canva. Let's go to a new design, and I just like to use presentations, so I'm going to grab one of those. Then we're going to click here on elements and we're going to pick frame. Now we're using letters, obviously. So let's scroll down till we get to the letters. And I think I'm going to do a sports theme. So let's grab like an S or something like that. So we'll click on the S. We'll size it up. And now let's find an image to go with that. So let's go over here to photos and let's find a good kind of sports style image. Let's try this right here with this lady working out. All right, so we have a workout lady here. So these are all the elements that we need to make our portrait letter or letter portrait. So the first thing I want to do is size up the image that we'll be using, make it almost full screen. That's good. Then I'm going to copy and paste it so we can have an extra one over to the side. Now we're going to drag the first one over the letter. Now placement is important for this. So we have a little extra stuff going on here. We got the tire in the thing. So we don't want all that. So let's double click that. And now we can scale our image and move it around to get a better placement. Now what I want to do is actually have parts of her body kind of coming in and out of the letter. And I can use this now to kind of position how I want it, thinking about how the portrait's gonna look in the end. And we have a little bit of something over here. So we'll enlarge a little bit more and do a little bit more adjusting. I think I like that. So you see here her shoulder will be poking out. We got an arm down here, we got leg down here. So I like that, let's hit return. So here's our letter image. So the next part of this is how we actually have the person hanging out of the edges and stuff like that. So because we're doing this all for free, we're going to be using a helper app to do that. But first, let's go down here and we're going to make a copy of this slide. So we click the slide, copy, paste. And now we have two copies of this slide. So in the first slide, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the S and delete the picture. So we'll click that, delete the picture. In the second slide, we're going to keep the picture and delete the S. So click the S, delete it, delete the frame, and let's reposition a picture so it's on the slide. All right, so now we have one slide with the S, a second slide with the picture, and we're going to export these files. So let's go over here to download and we're going to export them as PNG, which is also, if you want transparency, a pro feature, but we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just going to export it without transparency. We'll be good. So let's download those. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the helper app to take out both backgrounds of both of these images, both the letter and the person. So let's jump into the helper app and get it going. Here we are in the helper app, which is Erase BG or Erase Background. This is a free app on the internet that you can use to take the backgrounds out of images. It is completely free and we're going to use it as part of our design process right now. So all we have to do now is go to our computer and find the files that we downloaded of the letter and the person that we're using for our portrait and drag them into this program. So let's go over here to upload image. And as you see here, the background has been removed and we can download original size. Let's do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the letter and do the same thing. So we're going to go to upload image and get the letter. Okay, now this image is ready to go. Let's download it original size. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab both of these images, bring them back into Canva and finish our design process. Let's go. Now that we're back in Canva, the two slides that we had with all those additional images that we were initially dealing with, we don't really need them anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new slide and just not even worry about those anymore. Let's grab the two images that we just exported from Erase Background and bring them back into Canva. So we have the S and we have the athlete. So those are the two pieces we have right now. So let me do this real quick. Let's go over here to the athlete. I'm going to double click on her real quick and we're going to crop this down because we don't need all the excess screen around her. So that's good for that one. And we'll do the same thing for the S by double clicking. And now we can drag the sliders just to get tighter to the S. Okay, so now we have both of our elements and we're ready now to really do the portrait with the person and the letter intermingling together. So let's handle that real quick. Here is the letter. And what we're gonna do again is we're gonna click on the image of the person and knock down the transparency. And then we're going to line them up. That looks pretty good. It's not exact. There we go. I like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kick up the transparency back to a hundred. And now we're going to crop out the areas of the athlete that we don't want to go beyond the letter. So we're going to double click on her again and we're going to drag the bottom line up inside of the S to make it fit better. So there we are and we have the design ready to go. Now I'm going to show you now a couple of things that I do that I believe really enhances the look of the letter portrait. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go out here and click this S copy paste it. And we're going to do that twice, paste it again. So as you saw in the sample that at the very beginning of this video, it had a stroke around it and it had a shadow with it. What I like to do is have those elements separate from the final design. So then that way I can use them to enhance it in different ways. Now, unfortunately, Canva won't let you put a stroke around a frame. It has to be an image. So that's why we're copying it a couple of times to add the extra features. And also, I don't want to do that to the original S just in case I want to do some other things with it. So I'm going to use one for the stroke, one for the shadow. So the one I want for the stroke, let's click that, go to edit image and the shadow or the stroke is actually classified as a shadow in Canva. So I'm going to click on shadow. I'm going to go to glow, click it a second time, and we're going to knock down the blur to zero, make the transparency 100, and we're going to kick up the size of the stroke a little bit. Six looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it black for now. Hit apply. And that's good. So now what we want to do is go back over there and align that. And then what we want to do is align this S behind the model. So go to position, go backward, and there we go. And so now you see the person kind of intermingling even with the stroke around the letter. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a drop shadow. So let's click on the other S, go to edit image, shadow, and we're going to do a, a legitimate shadow this time, right? So we're just going to do the curved version. That's good. So now we're going to drag it and align it with the rest of everything. And then we're going to position it to the back. So now we have all the elements we need. And if we want to edit anything, we can go take out just that piece and edit it. We can change the color scheme, do things like that, and it won't affect the other elements. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye-bye.